What up, my friends? Steph Curry under nine and a half rebounds and assists. I love this play. I actually have three to give away today. There's a decent looking board this morning for prize picks and sports books. Got some write ups, some picks, some plays, some opinions, and some research. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So I took this on points bet last night for members under nine and a half minus 125, but it was on DK minus 130. Can't believe it's still here on prize picks. I'm going over to the optimizer. You guys can use that. We're going to look at John Moran here in a few minutes, too. I promise you that. So I'm typing in C-U-R-R because I'm bringing up Steph Curry. And I would talk about some of his props here. So we've got the player made threes. We have assists right here. So the assists over four and a half, juice to the over at five. And then we go to the rebounds at four and a half, juice to the under at four. That's a nine RA combo with a prop market of a nine and a half with heavy juice to the under on Fliff, a little juice to the under on DK, same with MGM and FanDuel. So these types of lines of 57.63% implied probability that he goes under often are not going to be available too long on prize picks and underdog. And you can see it. It's there. It's available now. I really like this play, not just for the odds-based play, but he's been under in 11 of 14 games without Draymond Green. Miami Heat are giving up the third least rebounds per game to opposing point guards. So right now we've got a point guard in Steph Curry. And let me tell you here, I was looking into it. And I was thinking, okay, well, if he can't get a lot of rebounds in this game, because potentially it's just a really bad matchup for him. And then I looked and the juice was heavy to the under four and a half. Okay, that backed that up. So the markets and the data aligned, you know, and that's how I tell you to do it. You look, you use the optimizer, you find the odds, you find the play, and you're like, okay, I like this a lot, but let me go see what the data supports or vice versa. Do the data research and then go support it with the markets. So I did that for rebounds and I dug into assists. Not looking pretty. He's actually averaging just 8.8 .8 potential assists per game without Draymond. He's not been distributing the basketball as much this year. And, uh, you know, often a lot of that has to do with just him and CP3 sharing the court for, you know, parts of different rotations every game. And when CP3's on the court, he's he's passing the ball around. He's distributing. He doesn't score. He doesn't shoot much. And Curry is letting it rip. So we've got an opportunity here where I think the heavy under-juiced odds for the rebounds really drags down this 9.5 for me. And then if we're looking at the assist market, I don't feel like he has a good opportunity to go over in a tougher matchup against Miami, and he's already not having a lot of potential assists per game. He'd have to be very efficient, and his teammates would have to be efficient for him to hit the over for his assist market. If he does hit the over and he gets five or six assists, I still think there's a chance for him to finish with three or four rebounds and hit the under on the overall rebounds and assists. So I'm taking under nine and a half, took it on points bet, take it on DK, do what you want, taking it here on prize picks. Now, I told you I was going to talk about John Morant. Let's do that. I want to bring Morant up because he disappeared. He was actually my very first pick I posted last night for members. This was my post inside Discord last night. You can see it here. It said it's going to be sweaty, 225 point total. Seven and a half point road dogs for the Grizz. Jaws been playing heavy minutes, taking tons of shots. Looked at all the different filters for how many different minutes he's played in the past two years and how many times he's taken X amount of field goal attempts, blah, 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 blah. Basically, the takeaway is Ja is on another level right now. The team clearly, clearly is circling around this youngster and he's playing with a chip on his shoulder. And I think he's going to go out there and just go absolutely bonkers in Denver. And he's got a good shot at that tonight because he's got good history against Denver. He's playing a lot of minutes and he's taken a bunch of field goal attempts. I believe it was 24 plus in three of the four games. And I think that he's going to go in there and he's going to do everything he has to do to put this team on his shoulder because they need him to do that right now. I believe they are now eight and 19. So they're three and one in Jaws games. Could have that totally wrong. That was off the top of my head, off the cuff. Now, why am I showing you this pick? For FanDuel, minus 113. And why am I going to show you the odds finder instead of price picks? Well, let's talk about that right now. So the points prop, it actually just went up as I went live on this video on Underdog. It was there last night. My sincere apologies, but not really. I posted this for members, and he was there. John Morant and Steph Curry were there last night on price picks. This morning, I woke up, and I was like, all right, let me do a John Morant video. First pick of the day. And I kid you not, he was going to be the number one pick. It wasn't going to be Steph Curry. It was going to be John Moran. So let that sink in for how much I like this play. The over 26 and a half is live, is available on Underdog, Parlay Play, and Sleeper. And you can grab the odds here on Fliff at minus 135. But Fandle, still best odds, minus 119 if you have access to Fandle Sportsbook. And I have a feeling it's going to return here. But I think what happened last night is when I posted it, my members slammed it and they scrubbed it off the board. They just got 
you know, they do that. Price Picks does that. These DFS apps will do that. Sometimes they'll just remove a play, put it back on, or put it back at like 27. Not a big fan of taking bumps, but I will say this. For somebody like John Morant, a point scorer, same with like Steph Curry, Luka Doncic, these types of guys who can score a ton of points, sometimes I don't mind taking a bump line if I think they can go absolutely nuclear. I think Ja can go crazy tonight. So if it's at 27, you know, it's up to you. I'm not happy with it. Certainly would prefer to take it on another site if you have access. By the way, if you need it, just click the logo. This is a $100 deposit match if you click any logo here. All right, this is nice. We're a few minutes into the video. Two official picks have already been dropped. Another third pick will be hidden inside this video. I'm excited about today's slate. It's a nice-looking slate. I don't think yesterday was very good-looking. Matter of fact, my official picks, I had two that I had posted for Durant and Booker and then found out later from members that essentially – like barely anybody actually got the picks because they bumped. They bumped like so fast and overnight and I posted them at different times. So that's fine. That's fine. If you remove those, it's fine to me because the other six picks went five and one. How can I be mad last night? Also, this is pretty cool. I have my own projection system. I do. I have a projection system. I've been talking about it. I've given people beta access for the past two weeks. Last night, full slip made by one of my staffers, he said, listen, I'm just going to take the uh, my favorite five projected plays using Mitch's projections, and he, he got a nice five of five, 10x slip. I did the same thing. So what I did is I combined three plays from the projection system with Devin Booker to Scotty Barnes, four plays, actually. Mikel Bridges was one of them. And then I took my two plays yesterday from the YouTube video, Tyrese Maxey and DeAnthony Melton. All right, that was the hidden pick. And this was the leadoff official pick. This one went 5-0. and Devin Booker was one assist away from giving me a nice 25X. That was my projection system. Here's another one. I did this one. I posted it. It went 4-1 and for a 2X. Again, Devin Booker could have made it a nice 5-1. and But again, I guess it doesn't matter. It's 2X no matter what here. Jalen Green, one of my personal picks, was the only one to tank it. And then here was the fourth. So I did four slips yesterday. All projection based. This one went four and two. So this one 0.4x return. This one 2x return. This one 10x return. This one 10x return. Now I need to know from you do you want access to the final projection system? Not just the beta. Do you want access to the final? Because I'm telling you now, YouTube's going to be one of the first places that gets it and I'm going to be giving it away. So let me know in the comments. Say, I'm interested. I'm interested in your projection system. I'm, I'm interested in your models, whatever. Okay, drop a comment down below. I just want to see, does YouTube care? I know my members care. I know my Discord cares. Does YouTube care? Do you care to see something like that on videos? Okay, so let me know down below. And if you do, I'll add that aspect to what I am providing on these videos, not just the picks, not just the markets with my optimizer, but I'll also show some projections. But if you all don't care, I won't be touching that. I won't be throwing it up on YouTube. Anyways, let's go line shopping here. So you have access to this. MySpari.com, 100% free, okay? I'm going to the implied probability, highest to lowest. And I can select individual sites if I want. Like, yo, Mitch, all they play is sleeper, okay? Select sleeper only. And then, bam, there you go. Here are the best math-based picks. Here are the odds. This is just a nerdy math equation that says, Minus 150, minus 135, minus 132, minus 135. It does this little equation, and then bam, it spits out 58.28% implied probability that Tyler Hero ends up with more than four and a half rebounds in tonight's game against the Warriors in the Oracle. Oh, yeah, that's how you read that off. But here we go. We're going to go by uh, all four books because I kind of want to just scan them. I want to look at Price Picks, Underdog, Parlay Play, Sleeper, and the six sports books. And I've told people before, when you leave it on this, so you have to look at all four, there's going to be a bunch of blanks. And that's simply because you do not often get plays up here at a 58, a 59% implied probability that are going to end up being live on these DFS apps. Do they have sports book odds? Yes, absolutely. They do. But I'm trying to tell you, if you're trying to leave it on the select pick them site, right? So you haven't selected an individual book, you're going to look at like this. So you have to scroll down. So you put 250 entries on. I like to turn off column visibility of date and matchup. I don't need them. I know the matchups. I know the date. I also don't care too much about those things. Tyler Hero, the number one play on the board overall on sleeper, 58.85% implied probability. It is the very first play that is on the optimizer here worth taking. Remember, we don't take round numbers, fours, five, six, seven. We don't touch them. You're looking for these halvesies, all right, 2.5. So there you go. We got uh, over two and a half turnovers for Tyler Hero. Uh, minus 150 on flip, minus 135 DK, minus 135 MGM. Here's the other part of this, though. 
you don't always want to take plays that only have three markets. And for me, I covered this the other day in the other video. I want at least FanDuel or Pinnacle there if I'm taking a three market play. All right. So we don't have FanDuel. We don't have Pinnacle. We only have three markets. Pass. Not sharp books, or at least not the sharpest books, in my opinion. And we don't have four sports books to price shop. So I fade. I move along until I find another. Sometimes you'll find really good plays. Ooh, who watched yesterday's play? Uh, I had posted this inside Discord, but I also did it on video. Isaiah Hartenstein. Yeah. We took under 10 and a half rebounds. That was right here in the video. And I did it simply by scrolling through the odds and being like, whoa. What do we have here? And it ended up being one of the nicest plays in the slate where every other sports book was like a minus 150 to minus 160 pinnacle, which we like to use as our heat check, was at minus 160 off the top of my head. I think that's correct. And then we had DK at minus 125 that he goes under 10 and a half rebounds. He finished with nine last night in 37 minutes of action. So that's pretty sweaty, pretty sweaty. He played 37 minutes, but he missed it by two values. So it was not bad. So today I'm going to scroll through and we might get one of those really nice plays, which is why you need to stick around because these plays pop up sometimes. LeBron James assists over eight and a half. Let's look at this. This one matters to me because of this pinnacle. Again, I told you, if there's only three sports books, I hope at least one of them is pinnacle or Fandle and check it out. We got both Penny and Fandle. Penny, minus 163 that he hits over eight and a half assists. Available on sleeper, available on parlay play, bumped on underdog and prize picks. A 58.46% implied probability that he hits the under. Now, they face Charlotte tonight in L.A., and I guess there's probably concern here for blowouts, but, I mean, I don't know. I don't like, I don't like gambling as if we're playing for blowouts. I think we could still see 30-plus minutes from LeBron James, even if it ends up being a game like that. Now, it seems like the Lakers have recently made some adjustments to their lineup. Cam Reddish, I believe, got the start the last two games with D'Lo going to the bench. In those two games, we've seen seven and eight total assists from LeBron James. Tough games, though, played on Christmas Day. You know, I mean, come on, that's tough. That's tough. We saw a lot of superstars not do well on Christmas Day. He had eight assists against Boston, seven in the game before against Oklahoma. Uh, matchup against Charlotte, clearly going to be a good one. Give up the fifth most assists per game in the NBA, sixth most points at 120.6. So the upside is there. For me, that's just a big, big number. I can't take it, but I will say this. If you like it, the play is to play it on parlay play and sleeper. And I don't blame you if you do take it. For me, I'm just not there. I can't get there. That's a really high number for a guy who earlier this year was at like six and a half. Here's an interesting play. Now, this is what I'm talking about. We got Penny at minus 150. That's interesting to me on its own right. The rest of the books, all right, minus 135, minus 135, minus 150, and then a minus 132 on Fandle. If you like it outright, you take it on Fandle, minus 132 as a straight pick to the under six and a half assists for Jamal Murray. Let's go look at the data, though. I'm going to bring this up for you. I want to make sure you have all the info you need to make your own decisions on the season. He's under in 14 of 18 games. He's live here on Underdog, 14 of 18 games. He is under. Over the last two years, average is just 6.1 assists. Now, there's no Aaron Gordon tonight. Not sure how much that's going to affect the flow of the game. We only have a six-game sample size. He's over in 50%. Doesn't matter to me. Him and Jokic basically have played 76 of the 82 games together, so we don't really need to look at any splits uh, with or without Jokic. I will say this. If you give him 30 minutes and you're like, all right, there's going to be a really competitive game against Memphis – at 30 minutes this season, he does average seven assists per game, but they're buoyed by two massive games where he had 14 and 13 assists, and he's been under in seven of the other 10. So I do like this. I think FanDuel minus 132 is a nice play. I do. I don't mind drinking a little bit of that juice right there for a play that's been under in 14 of 18. Memphis giving up the 10th least assist in the NBA. In, I believe Marcus Smart is also back. He's playing again. And we know that he just makes it a miserable experience for opposing point guards. And I have no doubt in my mind, he would be the one matched up with Jamal Murray. John Morant would not be on Jamal Murray. It's just not how they would match him up. There's no way. Smart will be all over Murray, but maybe that could lead to more assists. I don't know. That's look into this one some more on your own right. But I do like the minus 132 under six and a half and underdog under six and a half for Jamal Murray. Keep on going. We got another one here. Well, we already talked about Tyler Hero rebounds over four and a half. Let's dive into some data. By the way, do me a huge favor. If you like this video and you're like, yes, I like the official picks and I love the research-based time, please do me a favor, drop a like down below and comment 
The comments are huge for YouTube. And I've seen my videos over the last two days skyrocket. Two of the top three most viewed videos I've ever done on this channel. I started this channel, I think, what, February or March this year? And uh, it's been a nice two-day run. And I thank you so much. And I went back and I looked. And I'm like, why is this happening? The comments are sky high. And the likes are sky high. And that is why you see a lot of your YouTube people asking for likes and comments. Because man, oh man, does that help us out. And it helps us grow. So if you like free research free picks, and a free optimizer that I've dumped nine grand into. My goodness, it's totally free, but please help me out. Just help me grow. You help me grow on here. I keep that stuff free. I keep it free because the goal is to feed the community and grow my YouTube platform. Hopefully, this video continues to do that for both you and I. Now, we talked about it. I highlighted it. Luka Doncic, under 10 and a half assists on prize picks. Check this out. This is reminiscent of yesterday when we were talking about Isaiah Hartenstein. I said that uh, under 10 and a half rebounds yesterday for Hartenstein was in play because DK had the only good odds. Everything else was juiced like crazy, and it was live on prize picks at 10 and a half. Well, we have the same exact opportunity right now with Luca. under 10 and a half assists. And here we go. DK minus 120. That's your straight pick site. Fliff, minus 155, Blech. 10, 10 and a half at minus 132 to the under for FanDuel. And then, whoo, baby, Pinnacle, minus 162 to the under, super juiced. This is like a uh, sugar-laden juice drink, soft drink right here to the under. One of the sharpest books out there, Pinnacle and FanDuel, my two favorite for all things betting to compare. I like that you get the bumped plays on both underdog and parlay play, but it's live there on Prize pick. Minnesota, team he plays against tonight, giving up the fourth least assist per game. So potentially that's it. Second leg of back to back, certainly something to do with it. Uh, I already posted a Luca bet inside Discord for my members. Can't share that one here. That one is too fresh. I try to make sure my members get several hours, sometimes six to eight hours of, uh, you know, VIP access to each pick before I post them anywhere public. So there, that's a good one. That's not my official one. It's not my one I posted at Dub Club, but. This is good per the math and per the data. Let's keep going here. Look at this. This is a very nice play. My gosh, there are so many good plays this morning. And if you're not using the optimizer right now, uh, while you're watching this video, after this video, mysparry.com. People ask me every day, and I don't know, maybe I don't say it enough. Mysparry.com. I post it in the pinned link every single day. It's in the pinned link. It says, you know, Dub Club $14.99, by the way, $14.99 down below, all my VIP access. And then I post my favorite. Part is the best links for my link tree. And it just gives you everything you want. And then right underneath that, it literally bold, big capital letters, free optimizer, myspari.com. So grab that link if you need it. Every single day I post it. Kobe White over five and a half assists. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Juiced on five sports books to the over five and a half. Sleeper. Underdog is available. Parlet play. It is bumped. Don't touch unless you slide this down to a five and a half. Player assist for Bam Adebayo. Under four and a half assists. Available on all four books. Check it out. We have five sports books providing odds. You know, maybe fair odds right here on DK minus 130 if you want them. But juiced on FanDuel. Penny minus 134. Shaky 135. Uh, on MGM and then Fliff minus one fifty five, almost untouchable for a play like this. So under four and a half, I think in play right here. I mean, we got some really good plays today. Pinnacle under four and a half rebounds. No, excuse me, assists for Jeremy Soshin. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm fine with that on price picks per the math and per the Pinnacle comparison. Fifty seven point nine eight percent implied probability. My friends, there are so many plays this morning. I think we could have already put together a flex six just based on my VIP picks that I gave away, and then also some of the plays that I'm going over right here on the sportsbook uh, tool that I have that is pulling all the odds for all these different books. Drop a like, drop a comment, $14.99 down below, myspray.com free, projections system on the way. You got to tell me in the comment section if that's something you want me to start adding to YouTube. Also, I have a DVP tool getting added to my website as well. So if you want to see not only my optimizer and my premium picks, that's two things. Do you want to see the DVB tool? Do you want to see the projections? If so, comment down below and tell me that you want them added to the YouTube video. And I'll add them as my research and my segments uh, on the show continue. So I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Let's get paid.